Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Akumbi Aridamala and I want to welcome entrepreneurs, marketers and founders to episode 4 of Tauding University. And today we're going to be talking about, of course, email marketing for e-commerce and we're going to be going into how to break down your audience. So your email audience breakdown, how are you going to break it down? Um, so I'm just going to begin the, of course, begin the slideshow. And um, so the way, you know, in digital marketing, you have a breakdown of your funnel where you have people who are in the um, attraction phase and then you just, then, then the awareness phase. And you're just getting aware of your business and then from awareness they go into the conversion phase and from conversion they go into the nurturing you know uh, phase and uh, of course then there's the decision phase and same way you have different phases in your email marketing and that's what we're going to talk about today like the audience breakdown you know where is your customer in the, in the email journey and um, so this is a breakdown of the audience first of all I just like to use the marriage concept. It just talks about in stage one, you know, your customer is interested. You know, they're interested in whatever it is that you know you're selling. So that's why they got onto your email. That's why you got that email. Maybe you were pushing out you know an offer or something, they got interested. Stage two is engaged, stage three is married, and stage four is of course divorced, you know, that they've you know you're separated from the customer. So we're going to talk about these three audiences um, and this might take a couple of episodes to really go in depth into the examples of each of these audience but we'll try and cover at least stage one for in this particular episode and in the coming episodes we'll talk about more examples for stage two three and four so stage one really talks about being interested so you know these are people who have raised their hands showing interest in your offer so it could be a coupon code, a promotion, a free guide on your website. So of course you have your e-commerce website. You know, somebody gets to the website, a pop-up comes up and the pop-up says, okay, get 10% off your first order. And you know, there's a button there to subscribe, you know, put their email. So of course they put their email and they get, you know, a notification in their email saying, hey, you know what? Um, welcome to our brand, this, this, that, that, that. Here's your coupon or code, you know, this, this. Or it could be a free ebook. You know they subscribe to that and get that email so whichever way you have which are getting emails from for your customers um that is more or less a way for you to get people to subscribe into your email list and so they're interested they're interested in your brand they're interested in your offers they're interested in what you're offering but they haven't bought yet they haven't bought anything yet so the goal of stage one of course is to get them to make a purchase so the different kinds of emails that you can push out there is things like a welcome email. Uh, you can be talking about brand indoctrination. That's when you, you know you talk, tell them a bit about your brand, why they should buy it from you, and you can tell them things like um, you know what they start to gain, of course, if they do business with you, and you know talk about the history of your brand. You know you don't go into too much in depth detail. You know you don't put your someone, but at least you just give them one or two bits of you know why you're unique, what your brand stands for. And you know what your brand does and things like that. So the goal of the stage one, with the emails you are sending to the to the people in stage one, is for them to make their first purchase. Then stage two, of course, is engaged. So now they are these are people who have bought from you. They've bought one or two products. You've officially become customers. They like you know they you know they may like they may not like your products, but at least they've bought. So the goal of stage two is of course to get them to stay engaged. And, well, and hopefully get them married and then of course buy again and again until they become repeat customers so the kind of content here we're pushing out is things like transaction email product recommendations you know other other kinds of emails are you know things like um like birthdays you, know, you can push out content you know you know um wishing them a happy birthday you can push out you know service alerts you can push out things like upcoming events you know special promotions um you know you, you you know contests things like that so the goal is of course to get them to buy again and again which is repeat purchase they're married so these are your vip customers you know they've gone beyond just being repeat purchasers but they are raving fans of your products to the point that they become advocates they start consistently referring you to other customers clients 
and of course the goal is to increase referral so you know i like the idea of referral marketing because referral marketing is exponential if you get a customer and that customer becomes a vip customer and launch your product that customer could bring three four five other customers so the cost of the lifetime value of that customer has exponentially increased because now they are advocates for your brand and they've brought in other customers that you're that you didn't have to pay for with advertising or with you know um, time from SEOs or all that things like that. So it's exponential increase when you think about referral marketing. And you want to encourage that. You want to, you know, if people really for example, if people are raving about your products, I mean, they, they, you know, they send out great testimonials. You know, you send out like a survey, and they um, and they just rave that oh wow, we love this product, this, 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 that, 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 that. Then you can send out an email that you know telling them that okay, wow, you know, you could refer a friend, and you could make it easy that you know with uh, they could share the the products on their email list, or they could share it on their social media, or they could share it on WhatsApp. So you could create share buttons. On that email that okay if you really like this product you can refer a friend and your friend will get you know five percent of ten percent of just because you know they're your friend and things like that so these are emails that you can send to your vip customers you can also do referral contest emails where you know they um yeah they can contest for and win something you know the person with the highest referrals vip customers they could get something in return so the goal, of course, is to increase referrals, which is um, an exponential way to grow your business. And then the last people are people who have stopped purchasing for some reason. They've stopped opening and clicking your mails. Um, so the goal of stage four, not stage three, uh, but the goal of stage four is to get people to reactivate by buying something and opening an email or clicking the link. So, also, so of course, you just want them to be subscribed again and things like that. But I might add that if somebody is divorced from your brand and you're sending them emails and they are not responding and you sent, you know, re-engagement campaigns, you know, telling them, oh, well, I would love to still do business with you, here's an offer. If they still are not responsive, then you might have to also unsubscribe them from your brand, right? Because you don't want them adding cost to your brand. And with the old GDPR um, um, policy right now that's in the world, you know, you, you don't want people, you know, attached to your brand who are not subscribed. It could put you in trouble, especially if you're in like European locations and things of that nature. So you, you really want to ensure that you are um, being very careful, right, with the people on your email list and you want people who are engaged and people who are not engaged. You really want to ensure that you have a way that you try and get them engaged. So if you really think about these four stages, right? I mean, stage one, two, three, and four. Most businesses just send the same emails to all people in the same stages, and they don't really maximize, you know, the potential for referrals, for more engagement, for first purchases and things like that. So they don't segment their audiences in a way that would allow them to maximize the potential of that audience, right? And this breakdown actually allows you to think of your audience in specific ways, segment them, and send very specific emails, you know, based on where they are in their buying journey, right? And of course, you know, so you can segment your audience this way and then segment it further based on product recommendation, based on products that they like, categories that they like, things that they're interested in. And, you know, if you think about companies like Amazon, you know what makes what makes them stand out you know whether it's their customer acquisition channels their you know paid advertising or their email marketing especially their email marketing is their personalization and targeting is that they know how to segment their audience in such a way that they only send you things you're interested in and things that help you in the in the um in in where you are in your buying journey right so you really want to Pay attention to this and send emails that maximize where your customers are, right? So today we are going to just give an example of a welcome email. And a welcome email is important. I mean, there's a statistic that says, I believe according to um, John McIntyre, right, that 74.4% of consumers expect a welcome email. You know, when they subscribe to the company's mailing list. So when people subscribe, maybe they download an ebook, they expect a welcome email from you. Yes, they want to you know, download the book, but they want to hear from you, like, okay, what's this company? What is it about? 
What do you, what's your ethos? What do you guys do? Why why should we do business with you? This this so that's the brand indoctrination. So you wanna tell them a bit about your brand, how you know how you came to be, how did the company starts, how did the, you know, you just just one or two things, things interesting about the history of your business and what you guys stand for. And then secondly, of course, is the benefits of doing business with you. Why should we buy from you? I mean, you do you have the best shipping um, across Lagos? Do you have you know, uh, you guys pay attention to the quality you guys manufacture in places where you know you you uh, respect child labors? I mean, what what is it about your business that makes you stand out? I mean, do you have philanthropic um, activities based on your profits and sales? You know, and things like that that make people feel like when they buy from you, they're also part of those philanthropic activities. So that's number two. So why should we buy from you? So you really want to put those things in your email, you know. And then number three, this is something that Amazon does really well, which is product recommendation. So they only recommend products, you know, that of course that you're interested in and uh, things like that. But you know, in the welcoming mode, you can just put like recommendations of different products and things like that with links to those products so that they could go and purchase. And number four is of course having a good offer. So you want to have you know, maybe 10% off, 20% off, you know, $25 off, 10,000 naira off. So you want a good offer right there on the email so that they could you know, take advantage of it. And of course, lastly, you want a clear city, a clear call to action. Right, so these are five characteristics that you want in your welcome email. If you have this five, then uh, I believe you have a great email. So we're just going through some examples um, from an article right here. And um, there's an article by smartmail.io. So you just so you could you know visit this article, check out some information about some of the welcome emails that people are using, right? So as you can see here, you have the logo, which is excellent. Um, something I'll put is like the product categories, you know, like uh, different categories. They have categories on their web, on their shopping store. I'll put the categories here. So you have welcome. Probably put the person's name to personalize it. Welcome, Dami. Um, so here's a bit about the brand indoctrination. Hotberry is equal, part store, magazine. So I'll probably put more information here about the store. Not too much, just... A bit about Hawkberry, who we are, why I should buy from us, this, this, you know, just one or two lines, and then start the adventure explore. So, this is not really captivating. I, I probably would not, um, I mean, what am I exploring? It's not straightforward. What are the products? If I don't know anything about Hawkberry, yeah, I mean, this might not capture my interest. So, I probably would have product recommendations of the different things they have in their store, and I'll probably have an offer for like a coupon code, you know, get this off when you. Make a purchase and a very clear call to action. I feel like this white explore with the white background is not is not much. I'll probably make it like um, a much more clearer color, like like an orange or something. So I, I, I probably wouldn't. I, I don't think they did a good job there. So here is another one. Welcome to Lush. Uh, I probably will have the logo and uh, of course product categories again. I don't think this is very clear. As a welcome email, welcome to Lush. We're so happy to have you. Here they have a bit about the brand indoctrination. We're so happy to have you. There's always a place at our table for new Lushies. I would love sharing stories to show you what we're all about. Okay, so yeah, one or two things about them, but not too clear again. And the call to action is dark, doesn't stand out. Like again, I'll use something orangey. Um, check out this popular pic. So now they've done something where they have the product recommendations, which is really good. They have the buy now buttons. But what I will add is like an offer to this, and um, yeah, and some other recommendations. So here you have more about the brand indoctrination, right? So this is very simple um, free email. Um, okay, I think this is an advert, sorry. This is not a an email. <laughs> That's an advert. So, welcome to the MVMT. Very clear. The relief style shouldn't break the bank. Shop men, shop women. So here you have links to the categories. But I'll probably put some products here. You know, and they have a bit of a brand indoctrination. So again, not too clear on the offer. Not too clear on 
on what they are pushing out there. Now, this is great. So this is from Ralph Lauren. So you can see Ralph Lauren has the logo. They have the product categories, which is always excellent, linking to the categories. Welcome to the world of Lafarin. You're now on the list that will be the... So a bit about Ralph Lauren's brand adoption. So people know about La Ralph Lauren. So there's no, they don't need to say much, but just a bit about why you should buy, you should buy from us. So now you're on the list and you'll be the first to know about our detail styles, exclusive offers and much more. Great. So as a token of our position, take 10% off on your next order with code. I probably will make this code a lot more. Remember, you know, something that people can remember, and then maybe make, make this shop now a button rather than it just being this, uh, this, uh, this letter uh, link. And then what else I will add is like you know product categories and things like that. But I think the you know, Rotterdam has done a great job, maybe make the call to action clearer and a bit of product recommendations and things like that. But I love the offer; it's very bold, it's very clear. Take ten percent of your next order. Very good um, way to get somebody to make a first purchase. Um, so here is Reebok, another great brand. You have the logo. So I, I like brands that you know kind of create out their email and have like this um, website design. It's almost like you're on the website again. So here you have the product categories: men, women, kids. Design your own store location. Welcome to our tribe. So a bit about the brand, brand indoctrination. Brand indoctrination. Uh, we are a tribe of fitness fanatics who share energy, passion, and drive. Do you always step up a challenge, push through a little pain? You know, fantastic. Why you should join them? You know, what is what Reebok is all about? What the tribe is all about? Really great. Fantastic. You have the other, You have the offers. Take fifteen percent off online orders of Fitbot purchases. Take ten percent off. You have the coupon codes. What I will add to this is product recommendations like you guessed it. I'll probably put the product recommendations, things that you could buy right here on the email. I think rather than having this um, large image, you can make the image a bit smaller. I will have the product recommendations right there. And I will have you know buttons that people can click. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure I'm, you know, I'm gonna um, go to the website. I'll just so if there's a button here that you know you can click to buy, preferably under the product recommendations, it would be great. And um, all right, soft stitch. Really, I love the logo. Welcome, you're in. So great, it's a, it's a welcome email. So this is a lot more. You can see the you know personalization. Hi, Bianca. We're all about making it easy. So you can see the brand indoctrination. We're all about making it easy for you to shop online, so you can get on with living of life. Fantastic, big brands. So a bit about us. I mean, these guys have done brand indoctrination excellently well you know a bit about us big brands big shipping and returns i mean fantastic just just great job try stuffteach.com today apply code so i like it it's very straightforward what i'll probably add here is it is is the button that people can click to go back to the website and it gets this product recommendations right you know what people could buy two or three products right there so Sweaty Betty, you have their product categories right here. It's great. I think they've done some too much on brand indoctrination. I mean, it's um, common in Sweaty Betty is receiving. Yeah, it's 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 a bit too much. So I probably will put the products that they are selling here. Yeah, I can see the images, but it would be nice to have like the prices. But their, their offer is really good, and I think it would be nice if they had a call to action as well. So you're beginning to get a sense of you know what really makes your um, your email stand out. So here is I believe the last one. Uh, welcome home. We're so happy that you're here. Enjoy. Start shipping. Yeah, you have the very clear call to action. You have the offer, and um, now you have nice product recommendations. You can see the pillows. You can see all of this. So this. Is now this is I mean great, excellently, excellently done. You can see the product recommendations, you can see the reviews, you can see, I mean they've done excellently well. I mean I know it's not too clear, but you could see that they've really done excellently well with product recommendations and things like that. So you want to have those five things in your um in your in your welcome email. 
if I was going to add a sixth, I would say testimonials. You could add one or two testimonials of, if, especially if your product is not something that is easily believable, maybe you're making claims and things like that. You want to add one or two testimonials, reviews to the email. But of course, you want to, if you can have this, this a combination of some of these uh, this characteristics, it's really going to really help you um, ensure that your brand stands out. And at the end of the day, you have a great welcome email. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we're going to be discussing stage two and how to keep your customers engaged and the kind of emails you can send. And I'm going to be going through examples of those emails and characteristics of emails that you can send to um, ensure transactional emails that you can send to ensure that people buy again and again from you. So I hope this lesson was valuable. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.